Are you a brand new CNC user and you really don't know what to do next now that your CNC is put together? Well, let me share with you the 10 steps that you need to follow from start to finish to be able to complete your first project. Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I wanna share with you the order of operations that I follow every single time from start to finish to be able to complete a project. So I can change something like this into something like this. So let's jump right into the list. Step number one is measuring your material. You're gonna to wanna to know the, the width, the height, and the thickness of your material to then be able to enter into the program that you want. I'll be using Carbide Create in this example and Carbide Motions. So if you're using any of those programs, follow along. When you're measuring, be as exact as you possibly can because the program is expecting that. If you say something is 12 inches wide, your machine and your program are gonna expect it to be 12 inches wide. Step number two is enter your dimensions into your program. Again, in this example, I'm gonna be using Carbide Create and so I'll enter it in my job setup screen. Once you have that entered, you'll see a grid on your screen and this is the dimensions of your actual material. So in this grid, you are now able to design. In step number three, you're now able to design your job. In Carbide Create, the grid is the representation of your actual material. So whatever you place within the grid is what's gonna carve on your actual material. In step number four, you can set up your toolpaths. Whether it's a simple sign or a more complicated sign, go ahead and set up all your toolpaths at once. And step number five, secure your material to your wasteboard. I like to use the X-Fasten double-sided tape, but use whatever you're using right now to secure your material. In step number six, connect to your CNC. When I connect my CNC to my computer in carbide motion, I get the option to connect to cutter. Go ahead and click on that now. Once you're connected to your CNC or connected to the cutter, go ahead and click on initialize your machine. It is my recommendation to always initialize with the tool that you're going to use for your job. If you're going to be using multiple tools because you're going to have multiple different types of tool paths, go ahead and initialize with the very first tool that you're going to start with. In step number eight, zero your machine. After initialization, you are now able to zero your machine. You're able to zero your X, Y, and Z axis. Go ahead and do that now. When zeroing out the Z axis, I like to use the paper method. If you don't know what the paper method is, let me know in the comments. And if you like, I can make you guys a video. In step number nine, load your toolpaths. Whether it's a simple sign with one toolpath or a more complicated design with multiple toolpaths, I still recommend to upload one toolpath at a time. In step number 10, go ahead and click start. Once you have your toolpath loaded, all you gotta do is press start and let the machine do its work. So that's the order of operations that I follow every single time from start to finish to be able to complete a job on my CNC. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next video.